It's hard to believe what's written and the legends about the labyrinth at Hawara. When we went to Egypt in uh, February and March uh, of this year on the Egypt Leap expedition, we stopped at Hawara, and so I'm going to show you some of the raw footage here. But the reports from Herodotus and some of the ancients at what was once there, and many say still is there, including a 2008 serious small uh, excavation that was done, 1,500 rooms on each floor, 3,000 rooms, each individual, elaborately outfitted with hieroglyphics gold. Unbelievable. This find, if excavated, would be equivalent to the Great Pyramid or King Tut. It's really hard to believe. Take a look. This will uh, is make it this pyramid. Okay, and what does he think it means, or what does he think about it? Like انت تعتقد ايه يعني ان هو حرام كويس كويس هو 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 Outside. So he's saying that they this was covered just like the Giza pyramids yes. with, with an outer casing and then there's a village here that took all the stone. You can see in the buildings they made there, those buildings are made with the casing stones they took out. And the, the, Roman is, uh, the Roman people is stay here 600 years. Okay, and he's destroyed this and he's have a castle here is two, uh, two floors. One floor is uh, 1,500 rooms. All is 3,000 rooms, and the Romans uh, is destroyed also. Yeah. And, uh, but you know what? After you know what? that is Africa Canal tell, for tell, Muhammad tell him, Ali. Tell him that people don't think the Romans destroyed it. They think it's still there. He, he told you he think is one floor is destroyed and one uh, one floor is 1500 uh, rooms is down yeah down underground but, but you know the, uh, you know sir, sir flinders petri was an archaeologist yeah. and he came here yes. first and he thought it was the foundation that, that the building had been destroyed but it was really the roof Yes. The two stories are underneath. Yes, Doctor Patrick. Doctor yeah, Patrick. Be careful. He think that. Doctor Patrick, he think that. But the possibility is not. Not thinking is not sure. Yeah. yeah, because a lot of people think they, there was a Belgian team that came here in 2008, and they really think there's evidence that it's still here. Like if you really excavated this, you'd find that both floors are still there, 3,000 rooms. Yes, yes. 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 But no, you gotta go down over here. You gotta go down. Big down. So what? Yeah, we, we can yeah, go. They say get started. They say get started. Going to see the canal for Muhammad okay, Ali. Can we go in here? Okay. Go, go, yes. The taboot. The taboot for. So what we're doing is we're going into the pyramid of Hawara. We're we'll touring into a pyramid of the 12th dynasty. And, uh, Look, the water from underground? Yes. Yeah, it's closing. Come in. Yeah, they look. Okay. Oh, yeah, so it's all wet. I don't know if you probably can't see that around because I can't even. You can see it now. Can you see it? Yeah. Can you throw another rock in there? Yeah. There's a middle of the water. 
Pharaoh, oh, Pharaoh. Buried twice. In this one? Six feet under earth and water. Rest in peace. Okay. Oh. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah, hold that up, it's the salt. This. The salt. From underground. Do you see the salt, yeah. Dan? Yeah. Oh, you know what? That's caused by us. We can give uh, something for all when we finish. Okay. Okay? That's good. Thank you, sir. Yes, it's just a little bit. It's a little bit. It's not thank much. You. It's a little something. Okay, so this is the uh, southern face of the Pyramid of Awara, and the amazing labyrinth which is here is, is you know, wonderful as the second great pyramid really goes, goes from the, the south to the base out that way this whole field would have been the labyrinth over across the canal down over this way you can see it there this whole thing was the labyrinth. It had 1,500 rooms on the first floor, 1,500 rooms on the second floor, 3,000 independent individual rooms all, you know, just beautiful, and a single stone for the top. So when Flinders Petrie came here, he excavated in uh, the 19th century, he, he was uh, he's the father of Egyptology. He thought when he came to this single flat solid stone that he'd come to the foundation of something that was destroyed. But it's been found later by ground penetrating radar and other excavations that have been done on a small scale that he just hit the roof. That was the roof, what he thought was the foundation because again, the, from Herodotus and the legends, it was a single slab. I don't know how they did that. It sounds miraculous, but supposedly there was a single slab. So we're gonna come down here now. We're walking into where, we, you know, where the uh, labyrinth actually would have been. It's down below us here. And this is obviously some granite, the decorative granite that probably came off, maybe some decorations that were around the pyramid. So this is the kind of thing when you watch videos from certain people, they always say, oh, this is advanced technology. Look at this turn. How could ancient Egyptians do that? This, is, this requires machine milling. This requires diamond tip technology. No. <laughs> no. You know, Egyptian workers today in S1, could do this. This can be done by a man. Now this particular piece, the people that say that, you know, this is evidence of ancient technology, they might not use this as their centerfold because this one is a little bit rough. But even the ones, even as clean as they are in uh, the Serapium, uh, are still ones that could be done by hand, by a, by a skilled mason. Remember these, you know, the Egyptians are great craftsmen, their father, their son, they all did it. They were taught all the techniques, they gave their life to it. You know, they were serious craftsmen. It wasn't just give me my paycheck, it's Friday, I'm out of here. They, they were dedicated to their trade. And so I, I just am very, very skeptical of the immediate jump to, because here, here's, here, here's something I'll throw back at the people who say this is evidence of, of high technology. Okay, where are the telephone lines? Uh, where, where are the computers? Because remember, high technology, I do believe Atlantis was probably splitting the atom. They probably had all kinds of tremendous technology. Okay, so so they had the machines. Where's the machine? Oh, by the way, where's the machine? Where's the diamond tip? Uh, where is the bookstore? Where Where is the, uh, uh, the, the, the 16-layer shopping center? In other words, if you're saying this is high technology, then where's all the superstructure that would have to go with the technology that supposedly did this? Well, it's because it doesn't exist. This was done by Egyptians exist of ancient Egypt and they had the skill to do these. And, and you can go to YouTube videos that show how they did lines like this, people alive today that can do that, but they did this. So uh, don't, don't just default when someone says, because it, it can be a compelling idea, that does look pretty amazing. You know, because I couldn't do that, but I'm a stonemason, my father wasn't a stonemason. So don't uh, become a cultural snob and think that the ancient Egyptians were somehow, you know, aboriginal half chimps or something that couldn't couldn't do tremendously detailed work. They were skilled tradesmen. All right, we're going to say goodbye now to the Pyramid of War because we want to get to a couple other pyramids. This is the American Institute of Pyramid Research, AIP. I'm Larry Paul, the director. I hope you can come tour with us. Our tours are organic. We show you things and do things that, you know, can't be franchised, and, uh, including the Orion Correlation Tour, which we're doing. The only one in the world, the only place in the world. If you want to do the Orion Correlation Tour, even Robert Baval doesn't have one. So uh, come, come join, come follow. Thank you. Thank you.
Okay, let's get out of here. We got two more pyramids.